Up against the team full of spice. Team Cameroon. Cameroon? Cameroon! Oh! No one knows our food. It's spicy. It's filled. My heart is so filled with joy. I am proud. I'm excited because our guest on today's program, they are a group of sisters who just took part in a very prestigious competition in Australia called the Plate of Origin Competition. If you're just joining us right now, you are very welcome. This is Spotlight. Grab your popcorn, grab your tea, whatever it is that's going to make you happy. We'll be having one whole hour talking to the Bola sisters about their experience on this very prestigious competition, the Plate of Origin. We'll be meeting them right after the break. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Welcome, sisters. Team Cameroon, Team Cameroon. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just so amazing to finally get to talk to you girls today. I know everybody is pumped up. Your fans are like going crazy. They couldn't just believe it that we had a representation at such a prestigious um, competition like the plate of origin. Oh my goodness. Before we get into talking all about you guys and, um, you know, how you got into the competition. I want to invite all of our guests, those who do not have the opportunity of watching that little excerpt that I just played a few moments ago to take a look, a little sneak peek of your performance. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. We have Ashley and Kelly Vola. Welcome, girls. How you girls doing? Hi everyone, we're great. How are you? Oh my gosh, I am excited. I'm pumped up. Can't you see? Can't you see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about meeting you girls today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How does it feel? How does it feel? I know that you girls are celebrities now. How is oh, your new no status? How are you managing your new celebrity <laughs> status right now? Um, in Melbourne, we're in lockdown. So, that just <laughs> oh my gosh so you guys yeah. are just back home yeah we literally it's seven o'clock in the morning we're in our bedroom <laughs> oh my gosh hey i just want to i want to say thank you so much for the sacrifice it's 5 p.m here in the united states where i'm eastern time and it's 10 p.m in cameroon so everybody made a sacrifice because we wanted to be there to celebrate you girls so thank hey you guys so much thank you welcome thank you. Welcome. Tell tell the public who you are. I know that you grew up in Cameroon. Um, you lived with your grandma. You had a wonderful time. She practically taught you everything that she knows about cooking. But then you moved to Australia about 15 years ago. And I think you moved to the UK first, then to Australia. But you all had that passion for cooking. And then, wow this big thing happened. So you know what, just tell us all the other things. Tell us a little bit about your childhood, where you went to school and, you know, until today. Go on. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> um, so I'm Ashley, if you don't know. Um, I don't. Kelly. Kelly. And we're sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Last born, follow up. Um, yeah, like we were born in Bamenda, grew up a big family we always had you know lots of cousins like it was you know how it is the compound it's just oh yes yeah, so family cousins. african exactly. family exactly. so big. big big family so you know we all just grew up learning from each other you know the cousin the sister the grandmother the aunties were just all in the kitchen everybody had their little chores to do some yeah the, tomatoes, the onions so we all just got together that's how we pretty much learned how to cook well Kelly was with grandmother. Kelly didn't do any work. I, I she was the, the baby. She I, was the eater. I did the eating. I was very proud of that. And I still want to keep doing that part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you know you know how it is in Africa. You know, everyone just, you know. Got oh, involved. yes. Oh, yes. Exactly. Yes. Just, yeah. So, we all learn from each other. You know, everybody had a little impact in our life growing up. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. And so, mom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mom was overseas working. Just yeah. brought us back home and studying why we lived with grandma and aunties and cousins. Yeah. Grandma was a big part in our life because it was 
grandma Kelly and I, they used to share the same bed. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I was there with my auntie as well. So my auntie and I were really close as well. So we really had that connection, that really close bond. Mm-hmm. And then when grandma passed away, things kind Let of changed. So... Yeah, everything kind of changed. Mum was like, okay, I need to, you know, I don't know how. I've got to bring this girl here. <laughs> exactly. So she hustled, 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 worked so hard, came, took four of us to England, to Ireland first. And then England was a bit better. So we went to England. But then it was still really hard because she was working two, three jobs. We barely ever saw her. It was mm-hmm. like she just came home to sleep and off to work. So it was five of us in a one bedroom. Mm-hmm. So you girls, you girls saw the reality of Bush. Like you were sitting there in Cameroon, <laughs> not even knowing what mom is doing, busting exactly. herself up, no sleep. You've got to work. Yeah. You've got to pay the bills. It's like exactly. around the clock. Yeah. yeah so, so tell me, how, how did you girls... Fun. How did you girls get into this competition? Like, how did it happen? Um, so I've cooking has always been my thing. I've always like I could be in the kitchen all day. I am in the kitchen literally all day or night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm always watching TV shows, and I've just never seen any like. There's no African on there. There's no diversity. You know, like our culture because Africa is really big, but there's really never nothing. And I've always yeah. just pictured myself. In one of those cooking shows just showcasing Mm -hmm. what we can do Mm -hmm. so uh, the the hardest part was trying to find someone to do it with me right so yeah so So how did you manage to convince kelly who had always been the eater to join you on this big competition like (laughs) how did that happen (laughs) let's apply we're not gonna get it anyway so let's just apply there's no african people on tv so let's just apply anyway and see what happens like Uh uh-huh Let's just, ha, 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 let's just do it. So you were like, not even sure that you would be chosen. You just said, you know yeah. what? Let's just do it. Exactly. Let's just do it. And then she's mm-hmm. like, I'm just doing this because I know we're not going to get in. Just know, mm-hmm. you know cooking is not my thing. But like, she did it. And we're here now. So. Yay. <laughs> and I, so I wanted to support Ashley with her dreams as well. Yeah. Given that she really wants to open up the first Cameroonian restaurant in Australia. Uh-huh. So, yeah. yeah. So I thought, oh. why not? yeah <laughs> so, so was that was that your motivation to join the competition or was it just the fact that you wanted the world you wanted australia to know more about african cameroonian food for me personally it was just everything yeah there was not there was nothing like us in there's nothing like us in australia and so you don't have any african restaurants yeah. like at all? There's African restaurants, but they're not, but not really Cameroonian. They're, they're more like Ethiopian, um, okay. Somalian. Yeah, there's really Australian, West, African. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I want my goal was to get Australia to know a little bit about our culture and know mm-hmm. that that, that all what that we exist. The media, yeah, what they see on the <laughs> on the media, there's a beautiful side of us, and we just yes. to show that. Yeah. Oh, that was that was so beautiful. So yeah. tell me, how was the big news? When you knew that you were going to be part that you've been selected, what happened? Like when they <laughs> called you, did they call? Did they send an email? What happened? And what was your reaction? Um, it was actually funny. We did a recording of ourselves when we got the news. <laughs> oh my gosh! I wish you had sent that recording to me, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> Not sure where it was. But we were like, oh my god, we couldn't believe it. We were like just yeah. really surprised, happy. You yeah. Know. So okay, like, I, w- I want I want to be. I want, I want to be in that story. So you girls were like, maybe it was Sunday, it was Monday. What day was it? Were you just mm-hmm. sitting at home with family? And then you just got the call. Like you girls were like, everybody was like, oh, mom, dad, come on. And what happened? I want to feel it. I, I want Ashley us to get was, into that. Ashley was in Cameroon at the time. Oh my gosh. So she was yeah. like, oh my God. And then she came home early, you know? Yeah. yeah. So like they called us the next day. Mm-hmm. As you said, like, well, so I was so surprised. They call us the next day. They saw the video. They're like, "Oh my oh. god, do you guys? I don't know what you need to do, but do whatever it takes to be on this show." Like, oh wow, wow! So I was like, "What?" And I, yeah, I was just like screaming my head off. I'm like, "Oh my god, this is happening!" We're like, like, oh, we're oh each other. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was in oh. It was like we video call each other, going, "Oh my god, the aunties are Oh my god. gosh. <laughs> We couldn't really tell, we we're not allowed to tell people because in case it wasn't going ahead. Yeah, in case, you know, it was just like, yeah, we love because you of, guys. Because of the pandemic that's going on. No, 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 because, you know, when you apply for something, you have to go mm-hmm. through a few 
stages before you right right so they go yeah keep it on the low for now mm -hmm. and then you can share with your family but we were just so excited and we had in Cameroon I was in Cameroon it was everybody around me so <laughs> oh my gosh girls I yeah. am like I would say that we are just super proud of you guys and um just before we um we actually spoke earlier on um before the program today and I was talking to my friend Jackie Kinge his birthday is actually tomorrow and I was asking you girls like do you guys remember any Cameroonian music coincidentally Jackie yeah. Kinge is one of the artists you talked about Jackie Kinge and yeah, yeah. Lunga and I was like wow yeah. I just talked to Jackie Kinge like literally a few minutes ago. He was asking me to send him a video for his birthday tomorrow. And I told him about you girls and he was like, oh my gosh, he wished that he had known earlier. He would have surprised you. Aww. But, <laughs> you know, for Jackie Kinge and all those who are celebrating their birthdays, because we want everybody who is part of our Gwendy Media family to feel special. I want us to take this minute and celebrate their birthdays. I want to say happy birthday, of course, to Shaki can get a voice. He's one year older tomorrow. Um, happy birthday <laughs> to Tengu Fon. Happy birthday to Rudy Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to baby Chris Ivy. Her parents are always watching the show. Happy birthday to Cameroonian fashion designer, CEO of Magos Mode, Guanelis. If I forget your name, if you know someone that's celebrating, please do send it send me their names i would like to celebrate with them so for all of those who are celebrating and for you girls because you love jackie kinge i'm gonna play one of his latest songs sherry coco for a Thank few you. moments let's enjoy <laughs> <laughs> Mama Pota, toujours au service de l'humanité. Je suis Jackie King at the Voice. 2020, c'est maintenant. Lambeto, you know I was singing, Nadele Owaye. Lambeto, you know I was singing, Nadele Owaye. Doutouye, Mamoule, Mamma, Mi Wande, Wabole, Moye. Et Bangwando, Lomba, Nakedi, No Wando, Bendi, Bangaye. Eh, eh, eh. Et happy birthday à toi, Jackie Kinge, ma superstar. Uh, happy, happy birthday à tout le monde, à tous ces gens-là qui célèbrent leur anniversaire aujourd'hui ou qui ont célébré uh, cette semaine. Nous célébrons avec vous ici sur uh, Gwendy Media TV. Vous êtes sur uh, Spotlight, uh, sur Gwendy Media TV, bien sûr. Et uh, aujourd'hui, nous recevons deux belles dames. Elles sont des sœurs. Elles nous ont représentées dans une compétition en Australie appelée Plate of Origin Australia, <laughs> and happy we're so birthday. happy to have them today. So, <laughs> hey, girls. So now you girls were celebrated. You were, um, you know, selected, and then you got into the house. Tell us how the atmosphere was when you just got in there. Like, did you feel like you were in your place? Did you feel, you know, nervous? Did you feel scared? Like, did you think that you were even going to make it past the first round? Like. Take us to that experience. <laughs> oh my God, it was crazy. Share the video, guys. Let's see likes, thumbs up. Let's see you sharing the video. Let's see likes. Yes, yes, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Yes, go ahead, girls. It was so crazy. It was like really with me because I feel like I'm not confident with cooking and Ashley loves cooking. So uh -huh. I was nervous. I was tense. I was going, I'm like, Ashley, I don't know if I can do this. Why are you with me? <laughs> I was so nervous. Ashley's like, relax, Simi, you're all right, you're all right. But I was just nervous all around, to be honest. Like, yeah. I was trying to yeah. like, focus on the cooking and nothing else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And we're going against to Vietnam, which is like their powerhouse. Like, wow. In Australia, they're one of the biggest coaches in Australia. Wow. So going against to Vietnam, and we were just like, oh God, their food is amazing. They don't even yeah. know our food. They don't even know like the flavors we're about to bring. How the hell is this gonna happen? Mm -hmm. But yeah, we was I was so nervous because like going into that cook, I put a lot of pressure on myself because I wasn't mm -hmm. doing it for me. Mm -hmm. like, I applied for this competition for me, but then when I got there, it wasn't for me anymore. Yeah. So that was probably one of the biggest things. It was like I had we we had to do this. Yeah. Like okay, 
Yeah. Because, so did you guys um, know who won on this very first competition? I remember you girls wore the um the Bamenda outfit. Like, did yeah. you girls know that you were going to like who was going to win? Um, you know, during this first competition, were you already feeling like, oh my gosh, we will be the first to go home? Honestly, we were just happy to be there, and we we told oh. ourselves no matter what happened, we have come this far. We actually made it like here. Like, That's honestly, beautiful. Was, that is the like, best. Yeah, there's only 10 teams that was chosen. Wow. So we're like one of the 10 t teams out of like millions that applied. So wow. we're really like, oh my God, we've already done it. Like yeah. just being up here. Yeah. So I want us to watch think, a little video. I think that this was your very first competition with Team Vietnam. I have the video here for those who maybe did not have the chance of watching it, guys. Take a look. Have you ever tried anything like this? Spices of Africa. We're just really representing Cameroon, Africa. Up against one of Australia's favorites. My mouth's just watering. Yeah! Whose food would you choose? Remember the day that I stumbled on this video, one of my friends who has a blog, she put it on there and she was like, if anybody knows these girls, please, I need their contact. I need to get in contact with them. They're like, share this video. These are our sisters. They're, they're representing us. <laughs> and it just became like wildfire. Everybody was resharing. Everybody was tagging. Everybody was. And then we found you guys. Somehow we found you guys, you know. <laughs> and we were like, yes, there they are. Yeah. Well, I know yes, champion. Every Thanks to everyone yeah. for all the support and the love that we've been getting. It's been like really overwhelming and just like amazing to see everyone get together and just be happy about something. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's crazy because like when we entered this competition, we were just like, oh, let's just go in there. Let's represent our country. You know, it's just going to be in Australia. Like not like, you know, let's just hope for the best. Honestly, yeah. when my brother walked in my room and go, oh my God, go watch social media. Everyone's tagging you. People are asking. My brother's oh. like, oh my God, this celebrity from Cameroon, this singer is looking for you. And oh. I'm like, what is going on? We had no idea. It took us a few days because we didn't even know. I'm not big on social media. Kelly's not big on social media. So You guys like, better step up. It's going to be social media from now on. <laughs> Look at where you are. I had to fish yeah. you girls out. I went through Christina, your team and everything. And yeah. I had to wait for when, you know, it was going to be possible to have this interview. But I'm happy. And I want to say thank you to, to Christina. I know that I tried to reach out to Team Vietnam and Team um, Venezuela. I wanted them to be your surprise guests. So since um, I wasn't able to get to them, I guess I just tell you guys that that was what I was cooking up behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, um, during that first, that very first, I thought I had that video here. I just really, um, I thought I had the video where he says camera, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. I just really love that part. Like when you surf that, jollof rice and fried plantains and that pepper like what was it that inspired you to choose that particular dish for that day um so we went into this our first cook was celebration of our culture okay we went to celebrate Cameroon and every party when we were growing up there was always there was always jollof rice there, there was that's rice true rice. jollof and Cameroonian chicken, jollof you know? and like <laughs> chicken Christmas day always celebration you know and they yes. like fowl just for Christmas yeah fowl so, <laughs> <laughs> so for us we went into this cook because we wanted to celebrate our culture so we had to look the part and we had to present our food the part mm -hmm. so no matter what happened we were here to represent. We wanted to celebrate. Wow. I would yeah. tell you that um, just watching that and seeing how the judges were digging in. I remember Kelly said, dig in. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> if I have that video on here. I don't know which is the yeah. one. Did I play the video already? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Camera, <laughs> boom. I just love that video. Yeah. I was like, actually, um, Kelly said, Dig in, dig in. And <laughs> I remember funny, that people were saying, Why are they eating with your hands? We if you look back in the days when we were growing up as a kid, we didn't have mm -hmm. forks and knives. We used of our course. hands to eat. So we just wanted to really represent our country. We wanted to show how we were brought up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like let's let's go all in. Eat with your hands. That's how we did it. So let's have some fun. And yeah. yeah. Oh, I just really like that because um, still today in a, a lot of our cultures, they still have that, 
you know, they still eat with the hands. We have dishes that we eat with the hand at two fufu. Yeah. Most of our food tastes better with the hand, you know. When yes, you're like eating and licking <laughs> and licking your hands, the flavor yeah. is still there. And yeah. I'll tell you that a lot of times, even even at home, when I eat with my fingers, my husband will be like, I said, you know what, baby, this food, if you can only understand the taste. <laughs> but when I, when I take you with my fingers, the taste is like three it's times different. better. It's different, yeah. you know. So yeah. I like the fact that you girls were able to transmit that and, you know, tell the judges, like make them understand that this yeah. is part of our culture, eating with the hands. There's no shame with that. It shows fraternity. It shows love. It shows togetherness. So yeah. I really, really like that aspect of it. And the Jordies, I remember the one who said camera boom. Oh my yeah, gosh. I don't know why sense. I'm not. Yeah, I, I was trying to get that video. Is that the one where you're cooking granite soup? No, that's not the one. No, no, no. That's not it. Oh, it's I fun. thought I had that video here. Oh my gosh. You find it later. <laughs> this is not happening. I needed that video there. Let me see. But he said camera boom. Yeah. You know, I just I just really love that. Um he loved the food, but the, the pepper was a little strong for him. So, guys, <laughs> tell me, the, 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 the pepper, the, the choice of using pepper, the choice of using a hot sauce, what was it? Like, what was it? Was it like your thing that you wanted to add? You wanted to be different, stand out by using pepper or, you know? Um, so, with pepper, you know pepper in Cameroon, they have, there's so many for peppers. Mm -hmm. and it's the spices that we use that are brought from Cameroon that they've never mm -hmm. had before. And that's mm -hmm. what made it really different. And they've mm -hmm. never smelled or tasted anything like it. So wow. that was just like, what is happening right now in my mouth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I remember actually after, um, you know, when they tasted it, you just ran and you gave somebody a hug. And I was like, <laughs> whoa! And I was like, is I've been, I've been like I've been well, I've been watching the judges for a yeah. long time on TV yeah. for a very very long time, and mm -hmm. our food is just so different. Mm -hmm. We I had no idea how they were gonna take it. Mm -hmm. So for them to say what they said and how impressed they were, mm. I was like, look, if I go home now, mm. I'm happy. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, then I was mean, saying that, and yeah. Manu was saying that he brought up with um some Cameroon neighbors. And that took yes. him back to when he was years old. Yeah. So he's like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was that was so touching when he he ate the the jollof rice, and he was like this this. I actually shed tears when I was watching him say that. <laughs> I'm gonna find that video. If you have that video, please send it to me so I can upload gonna, it and show oh, and yeah. show everybody. You know, I felt like so touched. You know, like some little things that you do. You can never yeah. understand how much it touches people. Okay. We do not even know that he had, you know, Cameroonian neighbors who used to share exactly. jollof rice with him. And that yeah. made him remind the world that, hey, this food, this jollof rice that he's eating right now, it reminds him of when he used to share food with his neighbors in, in Paris, you know, in, in France, somewhere in France. And wow, yeah. my heart was like melting when I heard that. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. this, is, this yeah. is so beautiful. It's wonderful. So yeah. you girls went right up to the semi-finals. But before we go talking about, you know, the rest of, you know, everything that you all learned during the competition, the relationships that you built, I want us to watch another video clip of you girls um, during the competition. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm Ashley. We're Team Cameroon from Plate of Origin. Tonight, we're cooking one of the most popular dishes in Cameroon called granite soup or in Australia, peanut soup with a little Australian twist. So it's really, really easy. What I'm gonna do is just blend all the herbs, garlic, ginger. <laughs> Your favorite chili. Really hot. It's going in. Herbs go in. I'm gonna go in with some olive oil. I'm gonna take some of this, put it with the chicken. And about two, to three big tablespoons. That's gonna cook with the chicken. One cold chicken stock cube, salt and pepper, and a bit of water to cook. I'm gonna add in the tomatoes and the onions. 
girl, you girls were such a breath of fresh air. I would tell you that I was looking forward to your next program because you were so giggly, you were so happy. And I know that there was this time that you had like you were you were doing like roast beef and and there was flames in the kitchen. It was just going crazy. And and Ashley, for the first time, I saw Ashley panicking and she started crying. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? What happened? What happened, girls? Oh my God! When they say four to five minutes, they mean four to five minutes. <laughs> um, it was just—it was absolutely mental. Everything that was going wrong was going that could go wrong was going wrong. The flame oh my was God. just hot. The flame, like we had too much like fire, and then we were putting oil on too much fire. Oh so my I God! Almost burned that kitchen down. Oh my like, God! It you broke down than, like for the first time bad. ashley who was always smiling and so positive <laughs> she broke down literally she was like everything that could go wrong is going wrong oh my gosh i was yeah, like oh was, no everyone was, was heartbroken insane. watching that part so yeah. what happened was it that you put in too much oil was it that the fire what was happening like what happened did you both. did you know what happened both so the fire was too hot like at mm-hmm. the time, so we just rush it. I was like, "Give me fire! We need this meat to be cooked. We need this meat to be cooked. Give me as much fire as possible." I'm like, every, "Like whatever you can, just give it to me. Put everything in." So you were just burning the meat, the soya. No, you just so the, the plan was because the time limit was so short. We knew that uh-huh. we needed more time to cook it. If we started on a slow heat, the meat wasn't going to be cooked. Oh my god! So we're like, "Please give me heat." But then the marinade, we put too much oil on it. So when I was, oh my Gary was Gary came. Was like Gary is like Ashley. You're burning this place down. <laughs> oh my god! It was what it, it looked. It, it looked pretty good on TV, but it was literally really bad. Like it was. Oh really my bad. gosh! I saw yeah, everybody so, was yeah. panicking. Like they showed the faces of people. Everyone was like, yeah. "What is going on in the kitchen oh, there? Yeah. Like there's so, smoke. Like, there's fire in the fire. kitchen." <laughs> and it was the first time actually using the hibachi grill yeah. as well, so it that was, made it a bit hard and yeah. hard compared to what she was used to at home. Yeah, so um, you know when you're home, you used to your big barbecue. You got you take your time. It was yeah. the first time with the hibachi, so that was just like an extra pressure as well. So mm-hmm. when all that happened, I'm like, "Look, we are going home." I was ready to like, we were like, "Yeah, there's like." The flavors are good, but like this cook was a mess. Like, oh my no gosh, room. we're going against China. This you saw the girls, right? I there did, so but the fun. surprise of it all at the end of the day, you yeah. girls did not was, go home. I was like, if thank you so much, China, because if China didn't help us, oh my we, gosh, we, so we they helped you girls and then they went home that day. So, yeah, we shared oh the barbecue. <laughs> So I was using the barbecue and then the hibachi and then yeah, oh. so they helped us big time as well. So we we to this day like to the till we die, China is yeah. They have a they, they were your saviors that day. So yeah. what exactly were you cooking for the for the jury that day? What were you cooking for them that day? So we're doing soya, mm-hmm. onion plantains, and mm-hmm. like a salad to cut through all the spices mm-hmm. and pepper. This hmm. time with pepper we made a bit onions. Okay, the pepper. signature oh, pepper. <laughs> the <Yeah>. camera boom. <laughs> camera <Yeah>. boom. <laughs> That's right. So, okay, so when you when you guys were past that stage where there was fire in the kitchen when everything was neutralized, um how how did the food turn out? Cuz you were up against China, so and you guys send them home. We knew we were going home. Like, we were like, yeah, our flavors is good. Some of the meat is cooked good. Some of it is not cooked good. But China, like, Chinese, they're number one, like, all around the world. So no matter yeah, what Yeah, everybody we, knows we Chinese like, food. Yeah. Exactly. Everybody loves Chinese food. So, we're like, yeah, mm-hmm. we're definitely going home. Like, those girls, they had so much fun. They were calm, the whole cook. They were just so happy with what they put up. We were wow. like, yeah, we're definitely going home, for sure. Wow. Like, so yeah. when when the results were announced and Cameroon was not going home that that day, how did you girls feel about that? I mean, knowing that China, who had been helping you guys, were the ones that you guys sent home. You these girls, una no easy. <laughs> how did it feel? How did it feel like? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look at now they helped us and now we send them home. Oh my gosh! How did you girls feel? Honestly, um. 
it was just like a mixed feeling. So it was like, oh my God, they helped us by letting us use the barbecue. But the thing for them is their flavor, the, what, judges, what the judges said was the flavor wasn't there and we had the flavor in our food. So yeah. I think that's what kept us in the competition still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was, it was, we really appreciate them letting us use the barbecue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you so, can see, I broke down, which was. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, and 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 I remember um one of the judges. I don't have all their names right now. The one that said you should bottle the pepper that you that you made. <laughs> are, are you are you thinking about doing that though? We're working on it at the moment. <laughs> yeah, because I mean yeah. he's one of the top chefs in the world. So if he can recommend something like that, it means yeah. that even him he could have you know a bottle in his in his restaurant. He wouldn't mind to have that to show people yeah. like hey. Here is some yeah, hot sauce from Cameroon, Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Have you girls come up with a name for that? Like, have you come up with um, a name for, for the pepe sauce yet? Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> so the name is going to be Cameroon. <laughs> People will be scared. Really yeah, but we'll that's like... for itself. Yeah. yeah. Like, thank you, Matt, for the name. We, we, we take it up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, hey, this is a time where I, I have to say hello to all those who are watching because we want our family, everybody that joins us on Grandy Media, they're like family to us and they're here watching you girls. Like, your, your, your team is there rooting for you. I want to see those hearts going up, girls. Let's see the love. Let's see more comments. Pelagi Acha Fominyam, who is my little sister, she's watching from the UK. Bless Fru, who is an attorney <laughs> here in the United States. He says, the Prince of Mundum. Is in the house. <laughs> Free <laughs> Louisa. Louisa, of course, she says, Congratulations, ladies. She's so proud of you. Um, she says that Ashley has a contagious laughter. Yes, she does. She does. And then we have Royal Warrior, who is a strong woman in the community. She's watching. So Sean is watching from Pennsylvania. Dick Wendelin, she says, A big thanks. To the beautiful ladies for representing 237 so well. Oh, um, you, our guys. MA Bride, um, these are top fans of Gwendy Media TV. She says, Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> Pelagi says, um, Love you girls. Thank you for making me believe in myself more. Love Aww. cooking too. She loves cooking too. Oh, so, hopefully, hopefully, um, she's going to be opening a restaurant soon. That's my um, cousin. <laughs> um yes and then um somebody likes my dress thank you darling this is from kibone new york um she's a, a an award-winning multi-award winning fashion designer um here in the united states she dressed me today thank you so much for my dress and of course that's visa rose my sister she's watching all the way from cameroon it's like 10 30 or 11 o'clock She's wishing a happy birthday to my younger brother, who is also, he, he's born on the same day with Jackie King. I was just telling wow. him that. Um, wow. She says, so proud of you beauties for making graphic people stand out. Yes, those those <laughs> outfits, girls. I mean, that toggle that you guys wore. Mm -mm. Wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Royal Warrior says, I was waiting for the pepper part. Yes, I'm, I'm looking for that video. Ashley, send me the video. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi Sue, who is also one of our top fans, she says, wow. She's just like, wow, with all the love. Thank George you. Trevor, he says, hey, Team Cameroon. <laughs> we have so many beautiful comments here. We have um, Leif Kaven, she says, that's so nice. She's watching from the United States. I'm, I'm so grateful that you guys stayed up. Share the video. Let's see the love going up. Comments for our ladies. They represented us at a just ended um, plate of origin competition on live television in Australia. This is so big. We're so proud of them. They, 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 it's 7 a.m. in Australia, 7 a.m. <laughs> but they are here talking to us because they, they wanted to share with us. They wanted to use this opportunity to say thank you to all of you who've been supporting, who've been sharing, who've been loving. Go Alixmon, thank you for sharing their, their, um, their picture. Thank you thank so you. much for your support. She's watching from Canada. Wow. Um, 
Yes, yes. <laughs> Beat me a tank Tabara. She says, Congrats, girls. You see, there's so many messages coming in. She says, um, Lit Kevin says, sis, I must try your food one day. So you yes. already have people who want to try your food. <laughs> They're asking if you can ship. Do you ship? <laughs> She's in the United know. States. So people are already know. wanting to eat some food. Liz, I think that we should we should probably um plan plan a trip down to Australia and then that go to amazing. Vola Foods because Yay. of course we're gonna be talking about that. <laughs> she is she's opening her restaurant, Vola Foods, guys. So if you're going to Australia for holidays or anything, think about stopping and eating some of that camera yeah. boom. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be, sharing recipes as well. we'll be sharing recipes so if you can't come you can come yes in yes yeah. siri brady she's been sharing your videos also yes, so I much see you. I see she you says sure. but we're Thanks. so proud of you guys and you definitely did put us on the map yes much Thank appreciation you. and you guys so you guys are our winners you guys are our winners so how do you feel seeing all these people like it's late in Cameroon. People are watching from Cameroon, from Canada, UK, Europe, America, everywhere. Like, what's that feeling? Like, how do you guys feel about all of these things happening to you now? We're very grateful, I would say. Yeah. Well, it's, like, yeah. Incredible. Can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's still unreal. Like, it's we've met some amazing people. All the comments has just been, like... We keep saying thank you, but I just feel like thank you is just not enough for us. Like, our heart is just so warm. You guys have no oh. idea. Like, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, you, so girls, you girls are so you girls are so adorable. Yeah. This, yeah. I don't think there's anybody that did not love you in that competition. Like, because the warmth that you guys brought, you were always smiling and dancing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I was like, all the time following you girls. And, oh, my gosh. I was yeah. like, this is it. These girls are just sweet. Yeah. And we for us, yeah, for us, you guys are our winners. You were in top four. You went right yeah. to the semifinals and, you know, you got sent home. But everybody knows about Cameroon now and in Australia. Yeah. You guys were on live television <laughs> in Australia. Yeah, it's like we did, like, we're waiting for us. But honestly, this is not for us. This is just a, we're just literally knocking on the door so more people mm -hmm. can get this is you guys spotlight now for you to shine it's not about us anymore we've, we've oh yes for you guys to come through yeah oh yes it, it it always starts you know they always say in life you have to believe in yourself when you mm -hmm. believe in yourself and you keep working at the things that you know how to do someday a door is gonna open and there's something that they also say about life um success meets preparation if you're not ready for success, it will not just fall on you. A That's lot of right. times when you've been working, you've been studying, you pass your exams. When you've been working yeah. at something, you make it. So yeah. usually you need to be ready for success so that when it comes, you just jump into it and you grab it. Yeah. So Ashley, I, I know that you were a fashion designer. You actually went to fashion school. Tell us about that <laughs> aspect of you. And are you still thinking about continuing that fashion business of yours? Definitely. Um, so I've always had crazy ideas, right? In my head. Mm -hmm. And then I always try to explain it to people. People are like, what? I don't get it. How do I do that? Or if they do get it, it's going to be really, really expensive. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. I'm going to go to school, learn like a five, I saw a one week course, just mm -hmm. like, like so. Mm -hmm. And then, so I really didn't know anything about fashion, like like nothing. So I mm -hmm. went to, this, to Kenyan Institute, is what they're called. So they're like, oh yeah, just sign here, sign here. I didn't even know what I was signing. I was just like, okay, cool, let's just do it, whatever. Mm -hmm. I signed up for a two year course. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you literally <laughs> went for one week and you ended up I was, going I was to two, one week two years. As, yeah. I signed up for an advanced diploma, which was absolutely crazy. I was like, what am I doing here? Mm -hmm. First week, everyone's like, yeah, she's not going to last. What? Like, she's going to quit. She's going to be the first one to leave. Oh, my gosh. I had, I had a really supportive teacher. Wow. They saw, they saw that I was a hard worker and I was willing to do whatever it takes. So I had Mr. T, Mr. Tools, and my sewing teacher, Anne, and a few other teachers. But okay. those two push me to my limit this thing wow. after school to make sure i did my work mm -hmm. i had amazing friends if i didn't understand anything 
they were beside me making sure I got it. They explained to me over and over and over again, like Kwacha and Lizzie and, you know, Aisha, Mandy, like there was just so many people that helped me. They were helping and, you out and, yeah. Yeah. So I started off like, oh, my God, I can't do this to one of the top yes. students in school. I even got a scholarship to go to Indonesia. Oh, my I've God. Learned about Indonesian. Like, I've met, I've, it, wow. Wow. It was absolutely amazing. My teachers recommended me because it was for the next class up. But then, oh wow! Yeah, so it was just, it was absolutely amazing. Went to Indonesia, learned more about fashion, learned how Indonesian culture works as well. Mm -hmm. Came back, graduated, and then I don't feel like I'm a fashion designer yet. I feel like I still have a lot more growing to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but once I put on a line, I want it to be perfect. So okay. with, that, with fashion, I'm going to take my time and do it right. So the, the clothes that you girls wore during the competition were yeah. all made by you? Not all of it, no. Okay. <laughs> Some of them. Some yeah. of it was made by me. Some okay. was made by my cousins back home. Mm -hmm. And some was provided by from the show. Like the basics were from the shop. Yeah. yeah. But the African okay. prints, some of it was by me and by my cousin. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, so what was your overall experience and what relationship do you keep with, with other team members that you met in the house? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we are so like team Venezuela, um, team Greece, team Lebanon, team Vietnam. Like we were all, we just built a really strong. So, so you girls were only, we got like, you, you only chose all the girls. And what about the guys? No, no, no. I said, no, team Vietnam. <laughs> No, we team were, Vietnam, like, okay. So, yeah, because you know the personality was like really, you know, too. Yeah, like really they had high. the vibe. Yeah. yeah, it was like we're all like very like we also we have a group page. Everyone's like it's always going off in the group. Wow, page. yeah, That's beautiful. But, like, because everyone is just we're locked down. Everyone is just in different, different, different places. Oh. We really can't all meet up and have a big mm -hmm. party. So right but yeah, I'm telling you, I, we saw you guys drinking wine in the house it's like you guys had fun in that household we ha. didn't drink we were doing toast oh really you guys yeah. were just toasting i we were yeah. like oh my god these girls are fine though they're, they're drinking like, they're, no. you know <laughs> they were like, enjoying how do you guys get all this energy and you don't drink we're like it's natural <laughs> it's natural where we come from we know how to rock it we know how to yeah. just be happy and yeah. and celebrate yeah, yeah so short so we're trying to live life to the fullest we don't need alcohol to party that's just how oh go. yes <laughs> that is that is so true we don't need alcohol yeah. to yeah. you know to party so yeah. how how did your family receive you know everything like oh, how gosh. did they take everything that has been happening in this time just this short time i feel like my mom is more famous than anyone else in the family <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> my mom's phone has been blowing Oh, oh my god she's like i can't even keep up just like girls you guys should just take my phone because i can't keep like reading it it's my mom has been like she's just so proud she's so oh, yeah but the whole family beautiful. is just yeah because we haven't it. really had a chance to get everyone together because of the lockdown but yep. once we, we get everyone together to have a lockdown i'm sure it's gonna be a fun time we're gonna have really yeah you up. have sisters who are watching here mm -hmm. royal warrior yeah. you have louisa yeah. all these people they they're up like they took they took out time from their busy schedules and like i have to be there for my sisters mm -hmm. and all these amazing <laughs> ladies that i see here beat me yeah. atang theresia akamanga she says my babies that's i am so that's proud that's of that's you <laughs> You are really our winners. Oh, this oh, is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Hi, mommy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have we have all these people watching. Yeah. So I want us to watch another video. I'm hoping that is the camera boom video. I, I just I just uploaded. It. Oh, you did. Hold on. Let me put on this video, guys. Let's watch yeah. another um experience that Ashley and Kelly had in the house of plate of origin this country has the best food on the planet this is the world cup of cooking let the flames begin representing the iconic flavors of the mediterranean team greece we don't do small portions we do big or go home up against the team full of spice team cameroon cameroon Boom! No one knows our food. It's spicy. It's filling that.
<laughs> girls, my I can't stop watching you girls. Like my heart is so full of joy and pride and happiness. Wow, I want to say thank you to you girls for you know putting yourselves out there um, to even you know take part in this competition because if you do not even take that step to apply. We would not have known you girls. We would not have had that chance of seeing the beautiful smiles that you all have and, oh, yeah. and experiencing that cooking and, and feeling like somebody knows they know our food. Yes, they know our food. They know our pepper and all that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so, so um, tell me about your relationship with the, um, the judges. Do you guys still like talk? Or is is it over now that the competition is over? The judges have all like like they've got our back and everything. It's just really mm -hmm. sad because we're in lockdown at the moment. So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, we haven't had the chance to really you know got together mm -hmm. or meet anybody after the show. Like everyone's just trying to take in what's just happened <laughs> and stay safe. Yeah, so I'm sure like once we can all go out, you know, hopefully we can all get together and ha have something happen. But they're like on social media and we're always like going through social media, you know, oh my God, this is what's happening, this is happening, just to make sure everyone's safe. So yeah, it's yeah. And taking part so in interviews, crazy. of course, because yeah. you guys are going to have a lot of interviews. People will be um, reaching out, they want to talk to you, they want to share your story. Everybody's so proud. Like, you know, in those days, they used to just, Cameron was known for football yeah. and that was that one unifying factor that people all felt like wow there was no difference between oh somebody God. from the northwest the southwest the center the east with what's going on in our country today i'll tell you that it brought us some some happiness in our hearts because everybody was just happy genuinely happy for the cameroonian sisters who were yeah. making us proud so yeah. um did you did you girls feel that you know you had that that contribution that you were bringing so much love and sunshine Honestly, like, like we did not enter the show expecting this. Like, we did mm -hmm. not expect this. So just, and when I was there, that's probably why you saw how I had a really hard time because I was doing it for, for like, literally for you guys. It wasn't just mm -hmm. for me. Like, mm -hmm. I was the first cook we are doing it for our family, make our grandma proud because, you know, that was a celebration of our family. Mm -hmm. And then the more we go into the competition, we were like, okay, look, we have to do this now. Mm. Like right. everything that's going on back home, we need to show a positive side of us. So we really just want, really, really, really wanted to make you guys proud and know, look, we are here for you guys. And we are, we are definitely guys. proud. Yeah. And, and I know that there was this time that you were talking and I, I think that that was the day that you had that fire incident in the kitchen and you were like, you just want to make your grandma proud. Uh, <laughs> and that, that I just want to understand, like, tell us a little bit about that relationship that you both shared with your grandma. You guys, you guys were so close to your grandma. Mm -hmm. tell like, us about that relationship yeah like i said earlier we kelly myself and grandmother used to share a bed hmm. oh we were, wow remember a, a memory auntie terence is actually in the chat where i went to her house yes auntie terence is there for a sleepover i remember i had to go home that same night and i wanted to be with my grandma so she had to take me back home <laughs> 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 yeah kelly was so like kelly when we were younger like kelly our grandmother was her mother yeah she could not leave her side oh my if gosh any, she my grandmother saw no wrong but whatever kelly did whatever she was right or wrong it was you push she leave her mom. kelly alone leave her yeah, kelly exactly, alone exactly <laughs> everybody else was wrong <laughs> kelly had extra food extra everything it's like all oh, the meat that was her <laughs> Take the time Kelly goes first. She's not even doing any work, but she goes first. <laughs> yeah, so I literally, our grandma was like, she was just not to us. She was to the whole family, the neighbors. It didn't matter who you who you were, where you came from. Yeah. She was a mother family, to everybody. That's just how our family is. The door was always open to every single person, no matter who you are. And that's just the kind of person she is. And that's how she raised us to be. So oh, that's we wonderful. To the show, we were like, we just want to share that. That's how we are. We want to share that with everybody else. Yeah. What was, what was the biggest memory that the greatest memory that you you have of your grandma now that she's watching you from heaven? <laughs> What's the greatest memory you you have of her? Oh my God, there's so many. Honestly, my childhood, all my memories is for her because I pretty much my whole life revolved around her. 
Mm-hmm. I was with her every second of my day. So mm-hmm. it's, yeah, everything, I'm, it's her. Like when I think about her, I get really emotional and it's just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My one was when oh. Will was pound at Chut and pound Chut too. Is it Chut too? Yeah. She, I think I learned that special, like I never forgot that taste. Oh, when she wow. ate it. It's so simple. Something like that simple for me. That taste has always been with me. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Aero as well with the yeah. that for me is chutu that one. I remember one day we were grinding up, grinding that pepper, and then I was grinding that. You know when you're a kid, you don't know you're using the grinders, and then you touched it, mm-hmm. and you don't know how your hand it gets into your nails. Up. Oh god! My oh nose god! Was burning all day, oh my all god! Night. I would never forget that day. That day would make chutu, and my hand was just on fire. Like oh my god! I, I remember, I everything. remember doing that one time too. They they gave yeah. me pepper and ginger yeah. to grind. Yeah. Oh god! Yeah. And then you rubbed it everywhere. I, I was crying like my I put my hands in, in the water like the whole time. It was like, oh my god. Yeah, I, I was crying was, yeah. the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Louisa says that her cooking, she says yeah, yeah, yeah. grandmother's cooking was amazing. Oh, yeah, and now the, the world gets to taste, you know, yeah. that cooking, the cooking skills that your grandma transferred yeah. to you, which is which is yeah. so amazing. Yeah. All right, so hey. Um, I know that Ashley is is almost getting married. Yeah, let's like talk Kelly. now about let's, let <laughs> Kelly. Kelly, I want us to talk a little bit about about you girls. Like you know, personally, are you guys? I know um, Kelly is already um, engaged to be married. Ashley, I'm sure that your phone is buzzing now. Like all the guys that were not talking to you are now talking to you, right? <laughs> knows me no i'm really not into marriage i'm not looking i'm so business focused but then uh, you have kelly keep kelly keeps going you need to go on the bachelor you need to go on the bachelor and i'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like my husband Kelly's like, oh my you god the dated you didn't skip the all that just go straight to the marriage and i'm like Trump, <laughs> calm down <laughs> we'll find so. out what, um camera young guy um look i'm not ready to set like i'm settled down for myself like i'm happy mm-hmm. where i am mm-hmm. i'm not ready for the whole commitment i'm just really committed for myself right now in my business but are, are you are you at least you know search well you say you're not searching but so you mean that if a, if a good guy comes because i actually saw um some cameroonian um artists who actually put up on his page that he he's so upset that one of you is already married that you know <laughs> That you girls are now good, yeah, good, good wives because they've seen that you guys can cook, you guys can do all these things. Like, so are you saying that there's a good guy that's watching us right now? You guys will say no. (laughs) Tell her to come to 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 me and I'll sign her up for sure. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) and Tick Therese says that Ashley, you have to get married. (laughs) I agree, and see, I'm a strong believer in. I don't know what the universe and what God's plan for me. Waiting for God's time. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not that matters. I'm, I'm pushing every single person aside. I'm just saying mm-hmm. at the moment, I'm just not looking. I'm just mm-hmm. trying to, yeah. I'm just, just gonna, waiting for whatever comes. Yeah. So, so Kelly, um, how did your fiance take this whole new experience? Was it easy for him to let you go and be away from him? Um, yeah, he's very supportive. So he was like, do what you got to do. I know you want to support Ashley. So yeah, do it. We're going to talk to each other on the phone, you know, yeah. see each other when it's possible. So he's very supportive. So yeah. that's good. Wow. He's one of the nicest guys. Like, great choice. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, Everybody that's wants really to have a good a good husband, a good brother-in-law yeah. and stuff like that. Let me just use this opportunity. My brother, my direct follower just got married yesterday. Oh, um, congratulations to you. <laughs> Barry Stan Gang and Betty, I'm so proud of you. Um, so sad that I'm not there, but we're here. We're wishing you a yeah. um, happy married life with um, yeah. our team Cameroon, our superstars, yeah. superstar chef. <laughs> yes, yes. So, what's next, girls? What's next? Um, I'm we like I said, I'm working on the restaurant and mm-hmm. you know, the sauces and the spices, packaging mm-hmm. them to sell them. That's what we're doing now, designing and going through all that. Mm-hmm. I'm working on a few collection-ish, but, I'm, you know, it's going to take some time. Okay. But, yeah, so just keep an eye out for the sauces, the pepper, and the restaurant. And I'm just happy to Ooh. eat. <laughs> yes. You're just going to be there to eat, Kelly. I like your role. Yeah. Your role is just the best, just the best role. Like, yeah. when, when Ashley cooks, we just come and eat. <laughs> Kelly. 
she will tell you the truth. Uh huh. That's what I really like about it. It's like mm -hmm. if she doesn't like it, she will let you know. She won't be She'll like, she'll just oh. tell you like it is straight up. Like, yeah. Which is what I really like. She's a true judge. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah. so girls, let me let me know from you. Um, what was the most, um, what was the greatest experience that you took from this competition, from being part oh. of such a wonderful, um, competition? There's um, so many. One of the most things I took away from myself is to believe in myself more, be more confident. Just mm -hmm. you can do things. Just stop holding yourself back. And that's yeah. what I tend to do a lot. I, I limit myself. Okay. What about you, Ashley? I have a lot to be grateful for. Like, okay. So much. The judges, like, for them to eat our food not, and not spit it about. Come a boom. Yeah, that was a pretty big deal. Um, yeah. For me, the, the teams were absolutely amazing. But the big wow. one was, it, this was someone's dream. Right, mm -hmm. for this show to happen, yeah, he did whatever it takes to make this show happen, yeah, and he put us on the map. Oh, so for me, it was more backstage because mm -hmm. it took a lot to make this happen. Yeah, mm -hmm. I am so grateful to every single person that changed our lives, yeah, and put Cameroon on the map. Wow, that's really, really beautiful. That's yeah. it's it's so touching to hear you girls say that, you know, that what the, the biggest thing that you take from a competition is go for what you want. Don't stop yourself. And and that's something that I keep telling. It's something that I believe in myself as well. Like, you know, I, I love to say that to people. I love to say, you know what? The only person stopping you from achieving those dreams, from being that person that you want to be, from getting that restaurant that you want to have, <laughs> from being that big fashion designer, whatever it is that you've seen yourself as, is yeah. you. Yeah. We are the ones that can push ourselves or stop ourselves from getting to any level that we want. So exactly. that was really, really, really a good, a good lesson that you girls took from the competition. Okay, let's let's maybe lighten up things a little bit and just add <laughs> some fun. I remember that I told Ashley um, a little bit earlier. I was like, "Hey, I'd like you guys to tell me five things about you that everybody doesn't know." Like. Maybe your family can know, but, you know, us who are just getting to know you, maybe we can find out on the internet. What would those things be? <laughs> um, I can be shy. I, people, I'm shy sometimes. Gee, mm -hmm. People think I'm very, like, outgoing and crazy, but I'm actually shy. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. What else? Help you love to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and you like to eat. <laughs> I like to sleep. I like to eat. Um, I love helping people. Okay. Mm, what else? You love your husband to be? <laughs> <laughs> um, our niece and nephews. Oh. Yeah, we love them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about you, Ashley? What, what, what can we not find on the internet about you um, easily? Mm, mm, mm. I'm, I'm really an open book really if you ask don't ask me a question if you don't want to know the truth actually okay but you think you're not emotional you're emotional i do have emotional but i just don't you do have a, I, do, I, I do have emotion i'm just not like a big like i like to take my when i'm when i'm upset or angry or like get emotional i like to t step away from everybody Mm -hmm. that's probably why the show you guys saw I, I walked away yeah and <laughs> you like, cried everybody yeah. was like oh my gosh Ashley is crying it don't bat it don't yeah. bat yeah. <laughs> it, it really it was bad <laughs> yeah like, oh. I like to take my time away from everything process mm -hmm. everything reset my mind and then mm -hmm. come back and you know all right let's do this so I'm a big big believer in believing in myself take time out when I need to if it, it's okay to be upset I'm human and it's also mm -hmm. okay to be happy. I do okay. love my downtime. I love reading, listening to personal development. I love okay. like, spending time with myself, getting to know myself a bit more and becoming a better person. Mm -hmm. Um, I love I love I love giving. Oh. I love to put 
smile on people's faces. That's... And I think that that smile, Louisa just said you have a contagious smile. Like when you start smiling, everybody around you smiles <laughs> too. Thank yeah. you, Agua Patience, for joining from the West That's... region of Cameroon. See, people are joining, girls. <laughs> Share you, the guys. video, guys. Thank you so Thank much you. for your contribution. Okay, so um, Ashley and Kelly, do you guys speak pigeon? I know that um, Ashley told me one funny story <laughs> about her experience with Pigeon. I know you guys left Cameroon when you're still really young. So have you forgotten Pigeon or can you still speak a little bit of Pigeon? <laughs> when I speak, everyone laughs at me. They're like, you're speaking English. So I, can, I can understand. <laughs> okay, so I Ashley. Speak it, but everyone thinks I can't speak it. You Maybe told me about was... one story, one experience with one yeah. of your cousins. Oh, that yeah, um so that happened that was when you went to Cameroon last year. Do you want to share that experience with us? But I, I couldn't speak pigeon at all, like at all. And then I went to Cameroon last year and I met one of my cousins that's from the village for the first time. Uh -huh. And I'm like, hi, I'm Ashley, shaking his hand, and then he's like, Hi, I'm Ashley, and I'm like, No, I'm Ashley. He's like, Hi, Ashley, hi, I'm Ashley. I'm like, <laughs> No, <laughs> And then he was just looking at me like. So what was happening there? Like what was going no on? Was your was cousin saying. called Ashley? No, too. his name his name is not Ashley. He didn't understand. He had no idea what I was saying. He was just like looking at me like. Oh, because you were you had that like that he, tone. He was like, that... I'm rapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my cousin had to come and explain going, her name is, in name not Ashley no. What do you mm -hmm. mean your name? And mm -hmm. then he just laughed and walked away. He couldn't, his name is Perry. His name is Perry. He just laughed and walked away. It was uh, it was so funny. Ever since then, that's how we called him. We just be like, "Hi, I'm Ashley." Hi, I'm Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> oh my so goodness! Funny. And then the little cousins. Every time I'm talking, like they would not, let, they were just like hugging onto me. Mm -hmm. They were like, "Can you like?" Talk, talk small, small, more, understand no. And I'm like, oh God, it was just like, they could, no one going to say what I'm saying for two weeks. I had to have a translator with me for two weeks. Oh my God. Oh it my was, God. But I love well, Pigeon. So my mom was so proud. Do, do you want to say something in Pigeon to the people who are watching you from Cameroon? Um, because, hey, at the end of the day, that's our language or where we, dis yeah. where we, that uh, we speak. What, what did I say? How far? When I don't find no. <laughs> No, I wanted to say like a something, a word of gratitude, you know, to all those who are watching um, from Cameroon oh God, and the elsewhere. Pressure, the pressure. Um, oh God, I forgot to pitch <laughs> Take your time. Um, 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 what can I say? Thank you now so much. Should I um, <laughs> I can't even speak pitch anymore. <laughs> um, uh -huh. now that support us big time. Um, my pigeon is completely gone. We appreciate it. <laughs> just go ahead. Just go ahead. Imagine that your grandma was there and you want to talk oh, to God. her and um, just go ahead and say something to them. Um, thank you now so much. God bless you now. When I, when I, like, Cynthia and me would, would they find we we'll appreciate it. When I stay safe, stay positive, keep your head up. Yes. Um, <laughs> It I wasn't that difficult. That, that was good. I'm coming back. <laughs> that was good. Visa Rose, that's my sister. She says, yes, we did find no. You see, oh, people are responding to you. Oh, thank you, guys. I'm <laughs> trying. Somebody needs to take the pigeon again. <laughs> so as, as we as Yes, Someone go ahead, Kelly. Where we grew up before. We grew up in Bamenda. Where in Bamenda? That was our Amy Bride. Ah, okay. Um, we behind Travelers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you girls are travelers girls. Yeah. <laughs> they call that place back travelers. That's yeah, how they call it. <laughs> in English, <laughs> English came into it. This is what say yeah. so. Yeah, that's so. I see, I see. <laughs> so our Emi says, thank Wuna plenty. Wuna, hello, we plenty. God bless Wuna. Oh, oh yes, you. that's what I wanted to say. You said it. it yes. Took out of my thank you. Yeah, our Amy Bright, thank you so much, darling, for that. So, hey, girls, as we as we separate, I can't believe that it's been one hour. We've just been chatting and giggling yeah. and just having fun. Yeah. I mean, I just, what do you want to say to all those people who've been supporting you? I'm talking about your mom, your family, you know, close 
you know, relatives and just the fans and everybody who's just been supporting you all, um, even before this journey right up to now. What would you want to say to them? Well, um, a big, big, big thank you to everyone, people that we don't even know. Just thank you so much for all the love and support. We appreciate it. We know we haven't replied to everyone yet, but we do see you guys. And we just want to say a big thank you. We, yeah. Whew, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can't, like, words of thank you is not enough. Yeah. We really, really appreciate it. Our heart is just, it's, you have no idea, like, every single, like, person that we don't know. I just, families. all I want to say is take a chance. Take a chance. You don't know what any opportunity is ever going to get you. And mm -hmm. say hi to someone you don't know. Hmm. Stop someone right. in the street and say hi because you don't know what's going to happen. Show some love to someone. Exactly. Just yeah. smile, smile with someone walking past you. Yeah. Just, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, and that's really, stay really. Safe. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, definitely. People should stay yeah. safe and you know, just keep yeah. loving, keep believing, keep yeah. pushing, keep dreaming, dream bigger yeah. than big. I love to say yeah. that. And um, I'm always, you know, one of those people who says that the extent of your success is the extent of your dream. You know, yeah. if yeah. you dream up to this point, like, oh, I can only get to here, that's it, you know. But if you yeah. dream beyond that, then you're pushing even your imagination, you're pushing your right. subconscious to grow beyond that. Right. So, girls, I just want to say, Thank you girls so much. <laughs> so, so very much for taking out your time, waking up at 5 a.m. Yeah. just to be guests <laughs> on the show because people who are watching at home, they don't know the time. It's, it's, it's really early in, in Australia right now and it really like was a big sacrifice for you girls to wake up this early just to Not share really. I'll do it again. <laughs> this moment with, with, your, with your followers and fans and um, yeah. You know, you I, I don't I don't take that lightly. So yeah. are you guys available for work, collaboration? We've not even talked about your, you know, the things that you guys like to do apart from cooking and um, like your leisure. What do you do for leisure? What are some of your hobbies? I just wanted to see like, because I know that next after TV is maybe music or acting. So, um, <laughs> you know, are you guys thinking about, are you guys open for things like that? If somebody uh, wanted to contact you guys for stuff like that? Any opportunity will be amazing, honestly. Like, we are just, we did not expect, like, we really did not expect this to be this big. So yeah. any opportunity that comes our way will be amazing. Like, I will absolutely will love to have my own cooking show to show more about Cameroonian culture. I think that would be a big deal, like, just from all the feedback that we've been getting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think people would love to know more about our food. So it's yeah. like, I'm going to start on social media anyway, but it would just be an amazing opportunity just to show more about our food in other countries as well. Yeah. So how can people get in contact with you if they wanted to, you know, like, maybe have oh. you for an interview or anything else? Oh, Louisa says that she's your manager. She says that she's your manager. Contact <laughs> Free Louisa. She says that she's their manager. So I was just going to ask about that because I know that a lot of people, it's true. I went through Christina, who was your, your, your team manager from the play of origin. You know, we were talking for like two weeks before I could get you girls. That's when I knew that this thing's serious. So they get in a big, big celebrity down like, Hey, Hey, now you just have to make sure everything goes with China seven because we do have a contract with China seven. So everything that's okay. through China seven for now all right so, so do they yeah. have an email or you know yeah the, um, how do we get in contact with them you guys can uh, instagram or facebook instagram is probably a bit faster for us because that's, mm -hmm. what, that's what we use a lot in in australia so mm -hmm. instagram i'm ash bola and mm -hmm. i'm kelly cynthia with two a's on instagram or mm -hmm. late cameroon okay so instagram is probably the best bet because like we are team yeah we're like oh team cameroon yeah, yeah. In Cameroon, and, and we'll reply it. to you. Take your details and send it to Channel Seven. Yeah. All and right. If so anybody who wants to chat with us as well, we are happy to just inbox us. It's a lot faster and, than that. And even the guys who are looking for a, a good <laughs> wife who can cook well that can way. also inbox. <laughs> and you guys, I really I so hey, mind, as know. as we separate, what are, what are your last words? What are your last words to you know? Just what do you want people to retain about you as they as they separate with you today? 
think like thank you be confident yeah. about yourself and set goals and achieve them take yeah. it baby step at a time oh you don't know what opportunity is going to get you how big and how small so just take everything as it comes <laughs> all <laughs> right fun. my biggest yes have fun like, i'm just gonna say thank you so much to the vola sisters Ashley and Kelly, thank you all. This amazing, you guys are the most beautiful family ever. Gwendy Media TV family, I'm so grateful. Thank you all for taking this time to, you know, come and chat with us and especially celebrate our champions. Yes. They thank just you. represented Cameroon at the just yes. ended um, plate of origin competition. Girls, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank uh, you. We're looking forward to. Um, Ashley Foods, because that's the name of your restaurant, right? <laughs> Vola, Vola Foods. Vola Foods, okay. Yeah. So we're looking yeah. forward to Vola Foods. Please keep us posted on any updates and we'll definitely push it out to the world. All right, girls? Can I also say congratulations to you and yeah. you know, having your baby. I know a little bit about your story. And your mom <laughs> is definitely so proud of you. Oh, and thank you. She is definitely with you every step of the way. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you, you, girls are, you girls are wonderful. Thank you Thank so you much. So I had much. a wonderful time talking to you girls. <laughs> yeah. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank Same you. Thanks Thanks for having us. Everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. There you go. I cannot believe that one hour passed by so fast. It's actually an hour and 14 minutes that we spent with the Vola sisters. They recently represented Cameroon at the just ended prestigious World Cup of cooking competition called the Plate of Origin. If you joined in late, if you missed out from the beginning, you can watch it on our Facebook page, Gwendy Media TV, or you can watch it on our YouTube page, Gwendy Media TV. Thank you all so much. Keep following our pages. We have wonderful programs in entertainment, education, culture. And remember, Gwendy Media is your home for entertainment, education, culture. We're here for you. We're here to serve. Take care of yourselves. And I'm going to leave you all with this beautiful video of the Vola sisters. We just can't have enough of them. We love them. And as you all know, Spotlight it's where we celebrate people, personalities, celebrities. If you're out there doing something, transforming lives, just going about doing your work um, diligently, changing lives, making a difference, doing something that's worth sharing, just look out for that call. We might be sending you an email because you might just be our next guest on Spotlight. Until next week, it's peace and love. Mwah. God bless you country has the best food on the planet. This is the World Cup of Cooking. Let the flames begin! Representing the iconic flavors of the Mediterranean. Team Greece. We don't do small portions. We do big or go home. Up against the team full of spice. Team Cameroon. Cameroon? Cameroon! Oh! No one knows our food. It's Spicy, it's filling that Chad smells. Just reminds me of being on a Greek island. <laughs> <laughs>